We're now getting our first look at the house where Corrections Administrator Deborah Johnson was killed. It sits on the grounds of the West Tennessee State Penitentiary near Henning. The law enforcement from across the state continued their search for escaped inmate Curtis Ray Watson today, seen here in prison surveillance photos the day of his escape. It scares you. I mean, you, you don't know where he's going to turn up or what else he's going to do. Based on the charges Watson is facing, it appears he broke into Johnson's home yesterday morning, sexually assaulted her, and then killed her. But the TBI is still refusing to specify how he killed her. If he did what he did to get out, then to me he's a desperate man on the run. People who live in the area are desperate for Curtis Watson to be found, but they're reassured by the troopers and corrections officers they're seeing on almost every corner. They're everywhere on the roads. They've set up checkpoints at roads leading to and from the prison and are scanning nearby fields. Still, some are convinced the man they're after is long gone. Well, I'm concerned about the rest of the people, but I don't think he's coming up to my house because I can't even cook good. Watson, serving time for kidnapping his wife, was classified as a minimum security inmate and allowed to do farm work. This map shows how far he got after escaping on a tractor before ditching it in a yard. Uh, I hope they get him caught soon and bring him to justice and then we can all go back to a normal life.